Having graced our screens and stages with unmatched wit and cutting-edge satire, Peter Cook's departure three decades ago left a profound void in the heart of British comedy. A creative maelstrom, he penned classics that continue to inspire, confound, and amuse. As a cornerstone of the British comedy establishment, his name is synonymous with genre-defining sketches, innovative stand-ups, and absurdist wit, with Cook's timeless, groundbreaking Beyond the Fridge etched permanently into the annals of comedic history. Join us as Facts vs. UK presents He Died 30 Years Ago, Now Peter Cook's Wives Are Breaking Their Silence. Wendy Cook Speaks Out Peter Cook passed away January 9, 1995. Sadly, he was just 57 years old. The cause was gastrointestinal hemorrhage, a condition often linked to excessive alcohol consumption. Cook's battle with alcoholism was well known, and unfortunately it played a substantial role in his premature passing. In a deeply revealing interview given to The Observer, The Guardian's sister paper, in 2002, Wendy Cook, Peter's first wife, offered an unprecedented look into their shared past. Wendy, who's also the mother of Cook's two children, shed light upon the intricacies of their life together, providing a perspective that is as heartwarming as it is filled with regret. Their story started at Cambridge University, where Peter, an alluring young undergraduate, met Wendy, an art student. Their mutual attraction was as instantaneous as Cook's rapid rise to fame. His unique satirical prowess made a powerful impression on London's theatrical talent scouts, leading to the creation of the Broadway hit Beyond the Fringe in 1963. It was during this year, riding high on their success, that the couple married in New York, making the start of a glamorous chapter filled with illustrious personalities. After explaining how she and Peter got together, Wendy went on to share a bit on how the sheen of glamour masked deeper issues. Wendy, disillusioned by the relentless media world in London, decided to move to Mallorca. This choice, she believes, left Cook vulnerable, leading him into an affair with actress Judy Huxtable and ultimately resulting in the disillusion of their marriage. During her candid conversation with The Observer, Wendy expressed profound regret about the trajectory Cook's life took, marked by his struggles with alcoholism, depression, and infidelity. Wendy believed these destructive battles steered Cook away from his path of comedic genius and deep-seated idealism, unveiling a less commendable side of his character. Reflecting on Cook's cherished relationships, Wendy spoke fondly of Dudley Moore, describing their creative collaboration as a privilege. She recounted, quote, Peter loved Dudley more than anyone else in his life. However, her recollections were tinged with sadness at being a helpless onlooker as her ex-husband grappled with his inner demons, a struggle she witnessed from afar on her television screen. Now a nutritional writer and speaker, Wendy acknowledged in the interview that Cook's captivating genius will continue to echo in the hallowed halls of comedy, ensuring his story is told and retold. As she eloquently said, quote, each person brings a different symphony out of someone. Wendy's thoughtful recollections help us better comprehend Peter Cook, not just as a comedic icon, but as a man facing personal battles often hidden from public view. But to get a fuller picture of who Peter really was, let's shift gears and see what his second wife has to say about him in the three-plus decades following his death. Judy Huxtable Spilled the Beans In 2008, Judy Huxtable, also known as Judy Cook, delivered a potent and candid revelation about her life with Peter Cook in an article written for the Daily Mail. Her account offered startling insights into the life of the beloved comedian, insights that left many of his fans reeling with surprise. In her piece, she delved into her turbulent relationship with Cook, providing a deeply personal perspective that portrayed the comedian as both irresistibly charming and painfully flawed. Mirroring much of what Wendy had to say on the matter, one of the most resonant details shared by Huxtable was Cook's battle with alcoholism. This affliction not only shaped his behavior, but also cast a long, dark shadow over their relationship. Huxtable recalled how his addiction resulted in episodes of anger, hopelessness, and infidelity, causing continual upheaval in their lives. Despite attempts at detox and sessions at Alcoholics Anonymous, Cook's repeated lapses into old habits intensified the chaos. Huxtable didn't stop at discussing their personal life. She also opened up about Cook's complicated professional relationship with his comedy partner Dudley Moore. 
This partnership, initially a successful venture, was strained when Moore decided to move to America to advance his solo career. Huxtable noted that this decision took a severe toll on Cook, exacerbating his emotional instability and alcohol dependence. In his bitterness, Cook once apparently labeled Moore as a power-crazed egomaniac, a kind of Hitler without charm. As Cook's bond with Moore deteriorated, so did his relationship with Huxtable, largely due to his constant infidelity. Huxtable revealed that Cook betrayed her on multiple occasions, with individuals from nurses to glamour models, at one point even partaking in illicit activities with the same sex worker as Moore during a commercial shoot in Amsterdam. Even amidst such emotional turmoil, Huxtable confessed she was undeniably drawn to Cook. She cherished his intelligence, his humor, and charismatic personality. Despite a one-night stand with Richard Branson, Huxtable could not bring herself to sever her emotional connection to Cook. In her words, Cook was, quote, the love of her life, a man she felt incredibly close to and cherished. Huxtable's article concluded on a sobering note, recounting Cook's tragic end. Her reflections paint a picture of a complex man, plagued by addictions, yet undeniably talented. Despite the adversities she faced during their relationship, her account resonates with deep love and respect for Cook, a testament to the enduring strength of their bond, seemingly even from beyond the grave. Cook's Third Marriage In the final years of his life, Peter Cook, once the toast of the comedic world, experienced a significant shift in both his personal and professional trajectories. In 1989, he married third wife Lynn Chong after what was described as a long and painful divorce process with Judy Huxtable. Chong had previously worked as a property manager, and at least at first, she seemed to help Cook curtail his reliance on his vices. As Cook navigated the disillusion of his second marriage, Chong became an increasingly prevalent figure in his life. The nature of their relationship, however, was complex and often shrouded in controversy, with Chong being notably younger than Cook. Professionally, Cook's later career bore little resemblance to the dizzying heights of his early days. Although he had once been part of groundbreaking comedy duos and had played an instrumental role in the British satire boom of the 60s, Cook's later years in showbiz were marked by a significant decline. One notable endeavor during this period was his stint as a regular guest on the late-night talk show Clive Anderson Talks Back. Known for his quick wit and biting satire, Cook appeared as four different alter egos over the course of the show including the pessimistic E.L. Wistey and the unapologetically inappropriate Sir Arthur Streeb Griebling. But despite flashes of his early brilliance, these appearances were tinged with an air of melancholy as Cook's performances often unveiled signs of his deteriorating health and personal struggles. In the end, the final years of Peter Cook's life stand as a sobering reminder of the toll that personal demons can take, even on those who shine the brightest. Despite his early successes and the undeniable mark he left on British comedy, Cook's life was ultimately marred by the tragedy of his addictions and the professional disappointments of his later days. Now it's time to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Peter Cook's journey? What's your favorite moment of his career? Let us know in the comments section below.